Hey everybody, today is May 25th, 2023, and I'm here to tell you about two more days, and I brought Pepper with me today. And one of our days today is National Wine Day. So if you are a wine drinker, it is a day to celebrate. Now, wine's been around for a long time. Um, all different colors of grapes can be used to make wine. The Egyptians used to use all the different colors of grapes, but they would also add date palms, figs, and pomegranates to you know change the flavors of the wine. And wine uh, was first made in the United States in the 1600s. And one interesting fact I saw was, you know, California is known as wine country, um, a specific part of California. And back in the 1970s, there were about 25 wineries there. And now there are um, more than 800. So wineries have definitely gained in popularity, just kind of like breweries. Now I've got Pepper's hair on my face. <laughs> And then, but then the most visited winery was actually not in California. It's the Biltmore that's in North Carolina. My husband and I actually went there last year um, and we had never been there. And so we got to go to the winery and it was really fun. So I'll see if I can find any pictures of that and tell you. But it's National Wine Day. So if you like wine, have a glass. Do you prefer red or white or rose or what do you like? Um, interestingly, a bottle of wine can take more than um, 600 grapes. That's a lot of wine, or a lot of grapes for the wine. I think it said usually four to 10 clusters go in a bottle of wine, depending on um, how many are in that cluster. So those are a few fun facts about wine. Our other day for today is National Brown Bagot Day. So brown bags have been around since the 1800s. Uh, in 1852, I believe, was the first a man created a machine that would kind of fold, um, fold brown paper in like an envelope shape and paste it. And then in 1871, an American woman uh, made the flat-bottomed uh, brown bag so things could be, you know, put it in and it wasn't an envelope shape. And then in 1912, I think it was, uh, a, a man um, added cords and handles to make it easier to carry those brown bags. Now, when I saw brown bag at day, I actually thought about how people would take their lunch in a brown bag instead of buying lunch because eating out every day, if you work in an office, I mean, you could be spending a thousand, two thousand dollars over the whole year just eating out every day. So I thought of brown bagging it whenever I hear that. I think about taking your lunch with you. So a lot of times on the weekends, we'll make all of our meals for the week and then just warm them up through the week. But usually my husband and I will also make a soup and then we'll both eat soup during the week. So that's an easy way to brown bag it. Save some money and brown bag it. Appreciate those brown bags. Uh, you can do lots of stuff with them. When I was a teacher, I would usually get asked for the at the local grocery store for some brown bags, and I would use them like when we were doing crafts, like on shirts, and I'd put them in the shirt before they painted. Peppy, what are you barking at? <laughs> Pepper's trying to disrupt my video because she wants Sunny to play with her. Anyway, those are our two days for today. So my question for you today is: If you are of legal legal drinking age, of course, uh, would you rather um, have have a nice glass of wine out on the porch and enjoy the outside and pepper knows the word porch so she's very excited now or would you rather um plan out a meal and brown bag it all next week so that you can save some money let me know in the comments and be sure to come back tomorrow to learn about more national days i hope you have a, a good day and don't forget to like share and subscribe see you tomorrow bye